In this example, we're going to be talking about the diagram frame. We'll give a meta example and then we'll give several other specific examples. So with that, we'll get started. So here's our meta example. So if we look at the, here is the diagram frame. This is the entire diagram frame. The diagram frame has four different aspects. The first part is the diagram acronym, which is two to three letters. It is always in bold. The next is the owning element type, which is in brackets. The next is the owning element name. And then the fourth one is the diagram name. So we can actually go into diagram properties and then make sure this is set to all. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. We see diagram frame and we can actually toggle these settings if we wanted to. While you can do that, I would suggest not doing that because it's not proper SysML syntax to have anything removed. It, the proper syntax is to have all four of these aspects shown. So with that, we'll go ahead and jump to the different nine different types of SysML diagrams to give you guys some very specific examples. So we'll start with the activity diagram. So right here we have ACT is our three letter acronym. We have, and when we find this in the containment tree, we see that the diagram name is NASCAR2, the owning element is also NASCAR2, and the owning element type is activity. So moving on to another example, the sequence diagram. So sequence diagram is SD for sequence diagram. And if we find this in the containment tree, it's right here. So it's called pizza creation. That's the diagram name. And its owning element name is pizza creation. Its owning element type is an interaction. The reason, the way we could know this is by this icon right here or by going into the specification and it will always tell you at the very top specification of, and it will tell you what type of, of element that it is. Moving on, we have state machine diagram. So if we define that, alt B is the shortcut to find things in the containment tree. We have our oscillating fan one is the name of the diagram. We have oscillating fan one is the name of the owning element. The state machine is the owning element type and STM is the acronym for state machine diagrams. All right, next one is the use case. So if we find that within our containment tree, we have toasting system use case. That's the name of the diagram. The owning element is a package titled use case. So package, the name of package is use case. And then UC is the acronym. Internal block diagram, we have IBD. And I'll show this one. I won't walk through it. And then we have the navigation page right here. And then we have our parametric diagram right here. And then we have our requirement diagram right here. So hopefully those nine examples give you some detail into each of the different types of diagram frames. They all have the same four different types. All, it's always diagram acronym, owning element type, owning element name, and diagram name. So I hope that helps.